Bricks, the building blocks of the civilized world and the curse of the big bad wolf. They're produced on a scale that will blow you away, with the world churning out 1.5 trillion bricks a year. That's enough to build a new house for every family in America and 50,000 Empire State buildings. So when it comes to making the blocks that make the world, how do they do it? Elgin, Texas, home of Acme Brick. That might sound like something you'd throw at the Roadrunner, but these guys have been making the real thing since 1891. Each brick is made from sand and two different types of clay, which are excavated on site. We've been making bricks for 10,000 years, but the really amazing thing is that the design has hardly changed. They're still basically lumps of baked mud. This raw material is too lumpy to make bricks. So a giant crusher smashes it into bite-sized chunks, which are sent on a roller coaster ride to the plant. At the moment, this mix is dry as dust. The solution? Just add water. It's like a sandcastle. If it's too dry, it crumbles, and if it's too wet, it collapses. And it's the same baking a brick. You've got to get the recipe just right. As well as sand, clay, and water, one unwanted ingredient is being churned in, air. Air bubbles would weaken the finished bricks, so a vacuum pump sucks out the air. Then the clay is squeezed through a rectangular die and the dense gray slab heads on down the line. But this isn't much use unless you're building one huge straight wall. So a guillotine hacks it into 10 foot sections called slugs, which are fed into the harp cutter. Play this harp and you'd lose your fingers. Its strings slice slugs into bricks like cheese wire through cheddar. The bricks look the part, but build with these and you'd bring the house down. They're almost one-seventh water, and that moisture could even cause an explosion in the factory. If they went into the oven in this state, the water trapped inside would turn into steam, blowing them apart. So first, they're sent to the mother of all dryers. 20 foot tall, it can hold 350,000 bricks. But it's a gentle giant, wafting warm, humid air over the soft bricks, slowly removing the water in 24 hours. Now they're safe, but they've got no strength. To fix that right, they cook them in a nearly 400-foot-long oven, built from what else but bricks. Production manager George Campbell monitors the kiln. If you take a brick going into the kiln and put it in the rain, it will just turn back into mud or, or wet clay. Uh, a brick coming out of the kiln, it will stand up to the weather. Banks of dried bricks are slowly heated to over 2,010 degrees Fahrenheit. Baking the clay makes it crystallize, so it turns into a kind of glass. Now, we see glass as being fragile, but it's actually this that makes it really strong. The interlocking crystals bind the bricks together. And when they cool, they are solid. The bricks emerge after 32 hours in the kiln. And samples are sent to be tested in the kitchen. Here, they're boiled up in a supersized saucepan and popped under the grill. If they can handle Hell's Kitchen, the bricks can cope with anything Mother Nature might throw at them. Given the green light, each batch is stacked by giant robots. This plant produces over 110 million bricks a year. That sounds like a lot, but suppose you wanted to build the Great Wall of China. That would mean you'd need 3.8 billion bricks. And that would mean this factory running non-stop for 35 years. The finished bricks are passed to a storage yard ready for delivery. 
from quarry to truck with clockwork regularity. Good luck finding a builder as reliable as that.